He's still holding his back right hand up, asking for time. Now the pitch. Swing and another one sprayed out of play. On deck is Xavier Edwards, who Biscuits fans have been waiting to see for a long time now. It's finally here. The pitch is in the dirt. And now it's one ball and two strikes. Edwards is the Rays' number five prospect, according to MLB Pipeline. And believe it or not, even though he was acquired by the Rays in a trade with the San Diego Padres in 2019, tonight is his first official game as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays organization. McClure lets it fly, and Whitley swings and launches one deep to left center. Back goes Didolo, and this one is gone. Garrett Whitley, a leadoff home run to begin game one, and he put it just to the right of the 395 sign in the left center field nook. Whitley is fired up. And he has taken Cade Ball for his fourth home run. Can Whitley do it again? Right on right, the pitch. Swing, and he yanks a grounder down the left field line, and that's a base hit. Whitley will turn the burners on. He's digging for second. Here comes the throw by Craig Didolo, but it is offline. And Garrett Whitley, who just kind of flailed the bat, not reached today. And with one gone, it is Garrett Whitley. Feels like a long time ago when Whitley stepped up for the first time as the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the first and socked his fourth home run of the season to left center field off Cade McClure. First pitch is cut on and miss. That one in on the knuckles. Garrett Whitley. out of Niskayuna High School, New York. Originally from Melrose, Massachusetts, though, which is probably why he's a Celtics fan. Of course, Celtics met the wrath of the Brooklyn Nets in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Pitch, up and in. Boy, again, radar gun not functioning tonight for some reason, but that last pitch from Lane Ramsey had some serious bite to it. He's got to be throwing mid to upper 90s. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. Whitley went after another heater up and away. And now it's 1-2 as we hit 9 o'clock on the nose. You're in downtown Montgomery, Alabama. Nobody on. One away. 3-2 biscuits in the seventh. And the 1-2 pitch. Swing, and this one's taken to right. Back goes Adolfo. He's at the wall, and it is off his glove, and it kicks back into play. Whitley is motoring around second. He'll get to third with a stand-up, one-out triple. He can single right here. He'll become just the fourth biscuit to ever hit for the cycle. Right on right, the pitch. Slider, and Whitley wanted that one. He fouls it back. And it is 0-1. Elliot Johnson did it first. In the 2006 playoffs, the final game that season, which led to the Biscuits' first Southern League championship. And then Brett Sullivan and Jim Haley both did it in 2019, in the regular season. The 0-1. Swing and a foul tip. Off the catcher, Carlos Perez, and now it's 0-2. Sullivan did his in order. In fact, the two-year anniversary of that natural cycle was back on June 5th. Haley did his at Chattanooga in a game in which the Biscuits tallied their most hits in a game ever, 25. Haley's home run in that game and inside the Parker. The 0-2. Swing, and there's a base hit down the left field line. 
Whitley will hold it at first, even though the ball's in the corner, and Garrett Whitley has hit for the cycle. Gary Reed.